Oh, hey guys, welcome back for part two of the video match analysis viewing. If you didn't watch part one yet, you can click right around here and that should take you there. But basically in the previous video, Mark Renison did a very detailed breakdown of a match I did in a recent singles tournament. And it was the second match of the tournament. What we're about to watch is Mark's breakdown of the eighth match I did in that same singles tournament. So let's check it out. All right, Webby, Mark Renison here. Really looking forward to watching this match or doing some commentary for it. I've seen it a couple times now. Just a quick heads up on the audio. Uh, it's a finally a beautiful spring day here. So I got the window a little bit open. I hope you don't mind too much. All right, let's take a look. Uh, I don't know the name of the guy you're playing. Let's call him um, Jerry. He looks like a Jerry to me. <laughs> All right, I got to pause it there just for a second because something funny happened there. Uh, Mark had no idea what my opponent's name was because I never told him. And it's funny that he called him Jerry because his actual name is Terry, so I just thought that was funny that he was so close to what his real name was, but let's continue. Anyway, so uh, we're going to start it right into here, and Jerry was a tough opponent. Um, I love how you started this point. That is a great return of serve. Let's watch it again. It's not that it's deep, but look how much Jerry has to run and stretch for that ball on his backhand side. If you can do that throughout this match, you are going to have a lot of success. In singles pickleball, it's so much about making the server stretch, so it's hard for them to pass you when you're at the net. Keep that up and you will be in good shape. All right, let's watch here. Another great start of the point. A deep serve to his backhand. He can't get much on it. I got to say, I'm a little surprised you win the point, but I'm surprised you didn't use your forehand here for your third shot. It's more of a strength for you. Anyway, uh, this next point, I'm not sure why you ran off the court in that point instead of putting on the brakes. Maybe you were worried about the kitchen, but you didn't have to. Uh, that wasn't a volley. Even though you missed this serve, I'm really happy that you're going for the backhand. Uh, that can be a useful strategy. All right, here you get in a little bit of trouble returning serve. This return is short, and I think what happens here, I mean, it's a good deep serve from him, but you sort of changed your mind about whether to come in or not, and then whether to play this ball out of the air or not, and that indecision uh, sort of led to your downfall here. All right, Jerry was really good at serving deep. He didn't always serve hard, but look how deep that serve is, and that's going to make it tough for you to get in a good position near the non-volley line. Look at this one. He just passes you easily with that forehand. Watch it again. Here's him making contact with the ball, and look where you are in the court. It's going to be very hard to win points from that position when he's hitting a forehand. So good for him with that deep serve. Uh, you need to find a way to give yourself more time to get to the net, or at least get to the net quicker so you're close to it when he's hitting his third shot. All right, here's a nice point. I like how you return to his backhand. He was worried about it. He runs around. He's kind of out of position, and you've got a nice drop volley. That is a very good singles pickleball pattern. Now watch this serve. I love what you're doing here. You're opening up the court. I don't know if you were aiming there or not, but the result was great. He's pulled out wide. It's a short return. He's scared to come in. And then all of a sudden you get to put the pressure on. That is very good too. It's one more reason why starting the point is so important in pickleball, how you do it, especially in singles. So this is an interesting point here. Look how you serve out toward his backhand. He's scared of it. So he runs around and he's way off the court playing this forehand return. Now it's a good shot from him but he's still back at the baseline. So if I'm you, I'm thinking, hey, he really wants to avoid his backhand and use his forehand. But then on the very next point, you return the ball to his forehand and he gets to control the point. So it sort of seems like you didn't connect what just happened with the next point. Here's again a return to his forehand and all of a sudden you have to scramble. He's shown you that his backhand is a weakness uh, it's your job to kind of exploit it. Here's another return to the forehand. Look where you are again. It's a deep serve. Give him credit. Um, but if you're in that position, especially hitting to his strength, you're going to be scrambling a lot. This is the kind of return I'm talking about. Well done, line. I know you missed the next shot, but the return was great. Look how close or not close you get to the net by the time he's touching the ball. So he's touching it here, and you're barely past the baseline. So great return, poor recovery, and then you end up getting a low ball, which would otherwise be an easy volley if you were a bit closer. So you did half of that point really well. Again, a good deep serve from Jerry. Ball goes to his forehand. You are forced to stay back, and he gets to control the point. So that's a common pattern he's going to. Your job here is to sort of solve that puzzle and figure out how to combat it. 
This is way better. Good. You made him play the backhand on the return. You got closer to the net. You get the ball when it's nice and high and he feels that pressure. So it's just, this is sort of a common theme here, right? Is where you are when you're, uh, when he's hitting the third shot. All right. In this case, good serve to start. Look how far back he is. He's sort of off the court. You've got a lot of open space. He's forced to stay back. You come to the net and make him stretch. Amazing. Now this is the key moment. He's going for all or nothing here. Your mistake was to let this ball bounce. You had to back up to do so. All of a sudden, it's eating you up. Uh, what you'd see at the next level is players will automatically reach forward and take that ball out of the air and redirect it down the line. So just a poor decision, but it'll come. Great return again. Look, stretching on the backhand side. He feels that pressure. You don't have, even have to hit another ball. So this is a common pattern on the right side when playing a right-handed player, a, f a return of serve down the line to stretch them, especially on the backhand side. All right, this ball ends just on the line. It's too bad for you. You had to hustle here. Um, it was a good serve, but I mean, he got a little bit lucky there. Again, I'm not sure why you have the down the line return open. It's worked for you before. I'm not sure why you'd go cross court there. Again, like the down the line lane is there. Instead, he gets to play his strength. He's... Can't quite see, but I'm sure he's smiling on the inside. Great return here, and look at that. You got a freebie. So, so much of pickleball. I feel like I'm sort of, you know, overemphasizing this point, but so much of singles pickleball is about that first shot. When you hit that first shot well, whether it's a serve or return, things will go in your favor more often than not. This is more so the case than in doubles. Okay, I like how you made a move out to his backhand. This time he missed freebie for you. That's nice. Okay, that's an unfortunate miss. Got to make that one. All right, look at this serve here. Again, it's it's pretty slow. It's not that deep. This would be a chance for you to really control the point, but instead it's sort of a nothing ball right in the middle of the court. He gets to control the point. So uh, one thing you see as you go up in levels, players take advantage of those opportunities, like if it's a slow serve, uh, for example, to put the ball where they want. Another tough deep serve from Jerry here, really pinned you back behind the baseline. A higher return will give you more time to get to the net. Um, but I mean, he, he put you under pressure there, which is what he was trying to do. And it looks like that's the match. Nice, man. That was some more great information there from Mark Renison. And I am absolutely loving that service that they offer on the Third Shot Sports website. I love the fact that you can send them a video and then they break it down frame by frame, let you know what you're doing right let you know what you're doing wrong, give you some advice on what to work on. And based on the information I got in this video and the previous video, I definitely have a lot of great information to work with. And in fact, I do have another singles tournament coming up very soon, so hopefully I'll be able to implement that stuff right away and uh, have much better results than I've had in the past. But that's going to do it for us here today. And until next time, this is Webby, not Eddie, signing off. Pickleball addicting and fun, that's no joke. Pickleball and it's not just for old folks. Pickleball. 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 Pickleball.